Today on Running to Him. The wisdom we display needs to come through God if we are to be the catalyst for Christ. Today's reading is 1 Corinthians chapter 2, and we will concentrate on verses 4 and 5 and verses 12 and 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, 4 and 5 and 12 and 13 says, And my message and my preaching were not in persuasive words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of the power, so that your faith would not rest on the wisdom of men, but on the power of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may know things freely given to us by God, things which we also speak, not in words taught by human wisdom, but those taught by the Spirit, combining spiritual thoughts with spiritual words. Now the world has exposed many brilliant men and women. We think of Dr. Jonas Salk, who produced the polio vaccine, Dr. Robert Oppenheimer, who led the team which created the atomic bomb, and literary geniuses such as William Shakespeare and J.K. Rowling. This entire devotion could be filled with a list of names of those who changed the world through the talents God bestowed upon them, but to whom they did not give the credit. Yet, to my knowledge, none of these people impacted the world, as did Macrina the Younger, who trained her brothers Basil and Theodore in theology, Hildegard of Bingen, who was the first to categorize plants for their medicinal purposes, and Paul the Apostle, Moses, David, and thousands of other men and women who have placed their trust in God and who were led through the Spirit. The difference between the brilliant secularists and those who have a relationship with God is who controls their lives. Are they not controlled through the Holy Spirit or someone else? Please don't misunderstand me. I am not acquainting those who did not have a relationship with God with active followers of Satan, but there are only two powers in this world, those of the Creator God and those of the created being. Therefore, those who rely on someone other than God for their wisdom rely on the power of the other created being, even only if it's unconsciously. We don't display our relationship with God through our brilliance. We show it through our submission and repentance. Mighty men and women of God are humble, and they know who they are. It is through that humility God raises them to heights unknown. In verse 12, Paul writes that we have received the Spirit of God, so that we now know those things freely given to us by God. The word translated know could easily be translated as see. Those of us who have a relationship with God see those things given to us by God. That's the difference between living a life through humility and one based on self-centeredness. Those who don't have a relationship with God see themselves as smart, and while that may be true, they are not wise. Wisdom knows from whence it came. We humans can't create wisdom. Wisdom comes from outside of us. Wisdom brings humility, selfless service, a love of the world around us, and a desire to see and do good, not to enrich in ourselves, but to build up others. We lead people to Christ through the wisdom God gives us, through our submitting to the Spirit inside of us. We live a life pleasing to God when we learn and practice His wisdom and, in doing so, present Him to the world. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.